a big case that's probably like 14 pages long, read through it, and summarize it down to its simplest parts. It's really important early on to know what are the main points of the case. You'll be overly thorough at first and you'll improve and be more efficient as time moves on. I think a lot of law school is just taking a, a vast amount of information and breaking it down and making it more concise. But just put the effort into it because it's going to help you comprehend and the more you comprehend the more in control you're going to feel. I would do two read-throughs. I would usually read the case about five times. First read it from, from start to end and then go back and think about the things that you already know. You need to find a synopsis, you need to find the points of law, uh, what was discussed, so that you really have a good grasp of what was going on with the opinion in the case. There are lots of sources that tell you how to brief a case, but you have to find your own method of what makes you understand the case. If you can get advice from people at the school, like second and third year students or faculty on how to be a better briefer. Lots of schools offer sessions, like lunch sessions for that sort of thing. Take advantage of it. Look at somebody else's brief from an upperclassman, or even go online and you can kind of see it that way. Try to find other avenues through your library or through your professors or two L's or three L's of what was successful for them and try to develop your own plan. You know, don't feel uncomfortable into going to outside sources to make sure that you're getting what you should be from the brief. Try to find sources that you can um, uh, help you understand what the case is about and not to be afraid of going to talk to your professors outside of class. I was a really big fan of High Court Case Summaries, which is a supplement that actually kind of briefs the case for you. They helped me identify what was really the meat of the case and the things that I needed to focus on. Pull up the case on Westlaw and actually read our summary and our head notes. You get the main facts, the procedural history, background overview of the case. They're essentially the cliff notes of law and can save you a lot of time in analyzing and synthesizing what can and at other times be very verbose judicial opinions. I was a really, really big fan of book briefing. Next to the holding, I'll just have a certain color of and I'll you know, put an H and then I'll kind of put an, I'll write an I next to the issues. I might use a different color pen for each thing and then I'll take that and then I'll turn it into a, 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 a handwritten brief. At least for your first year, try to go through and actually write out your briefs where you're going through the issue rule application and conclusion process so that you're used to getting that done for your tests and for the bar exam later on. If you go to the extreme of typing it as opposed to just book briefing and having something set up, it just makes it much easier in the long run um, to go back and then translate that into um, preparing for finals.